Hello. Today, I will be taking you through the process of filling the application form for the All India Law Entrance Test or the ALET 2021 step by step. In order to fill the application form, you first need to go to your web browser and go to the NLU Delhi website which is called nludelhi.ac.in. Once you go to the website, on the top right hand corner of the page, you will see a link that says, click here for ALET 2021 admissions. On clicking on this link, you will be redirected to the ALET admission portal, on the right hand side of which you will see a number of links, among which you are to go to the one that says new registration. This will take you to a page where you will be asked to fill in details in order to create an account in the ALET admission portal through which you will be filling in the form for the exam. The first question pertains to the course to which you are seeking admission. So if I am seeking admission to say BA LLB honours, I will enter this field accordingly. Next you are to enter the name of the applicant. Upon doing this, you will be asked to fill in your mobile number. Next you will be asked to fill in your email ID. You will also then be asked to confirm your email ID by re-entering it. And you need to make sure that you enter the same and the correct email ID again. Once you have done this, you will be asked to generate an OTP which will be sent to your email ID. In order to generate the OTP, you will be asked to fill in a captcha in which you need to fill in the text that is displayed in this box or image. After which you can click submit in order to get your OTP. After this, you will be taken back to the previous page where you have to enter your OTP that you would have received on your email ID in order to validate the same. Once you have successfully validated the OTP, you are to once again enter the text given to you in the captcha. After which, you are to check the checkbox that says I agree and then you can submit all of this information and proceed to the next step of the registration. You will be shown a text box to confirm the information you filled, after which you can click OK and move on to the next step. You will be given a confirmation that says your registration is successful and you will also be displayed your application number which you must note down and keep for future reference. After this you can proceed to actually filling out your ALET application form by going to the link that says go to application form. Here you will be asked to fill in a number of details starting with your application number which you were just provided in the previous step and followed by other details that you have filled already. Then you are to fill in your date of birth. After this, you enter your gender, followed by a mobile number and email ID, which should be auto filled based on the information already filled by you. Next, you are to enter your category under which you are seeking admission. So, suppose I am seeking admission under the unreserved category, I will enter it accordingly. Please note that in case you are seeking admission under one of the reserved categories, while you may need to provide certificates for the same at a later stage, right now while filling in the ALET application form, you do not need to provide any such certificates unless you belong to the PWD or the Persons with Disability category. So only if you belong to the PWD category do you need to upload a certificate for the same. In all other cases and for all other categories, no need for uploading or providing any certificates is required at the registration stage. Once you have entered this field, the next field concerns your nationality which you are supposed to enter as required. Next up, you need to enter your religion in the box provided, after which you need to enter whether the PWD category is applicable to you or not. If it is applicable, you press the yes option, otherwise you select the no option. After this, you will be asked to fill in the choice of your center. You will be asked to fill in three center choices for the simple reason that in case there isn't an availability of your first center of choice, then you will be allocated your second and third centers of choice as required. After this, you will be asked to fill in your address. 
you need to fill in your address in two lines followed by your country, city, town, village, district, pin code and state. After this, you need to select your country followed by your state. followed by your district and then the name of your city, town or village followed by your PIN code. After this, you will be asked in to fill in your family details. Basically, these include details of the personal information such as the name, occupation and contact details of your parents. First up, you will be asked to fill in your father's name followed by your father's occupation followed by your father's mobile number followed by your father's annual income in lakhs per annum followed by your father's email ID and finally your father's office address next you need to fill in your mother's details which starts with entering your mother's name as required followed by your mother's occupation followed by your mother's mobile number and then you need to fill in your mother's annual income in lakhs per annum. After this you need to fill in your mother's email ID. And finally to complete the step you need to fill in your mother's office address. After this you can click on the link that says save and next to go to the next stage of the application and fill in the details as required. The next step involves entering your qualification details pertaining to your academic qualification of your 10th and 12th standard exams. So for your 10th standard exam, first you enter the name of your school, followed by the name of the examination board under which you took the 10th standard examination, followed by your year of passing or appearing, followed by the grading system that was followed for the given exam, then the maximum marks of the given exam, followed by the marks that you obtained in the following exam. And finally the percentage of CGPA of marks that you attained in your 10th standard exam. After this, you will be asked to fill in the details of your 12th standard or senior secondary exam. Under this too, you need to first fill in the name of the school or college in which you were enrolled when you took the exam, followed by the name of the examination board that conducted the exam, followed by your year of passing or appearing, followed by the grading system that was followed for the evaluation of this exam, followed by the maximum marks in this exam, and then the marks that you obtained in the exam once again and the percentage or CGPA of marks that were obtained by you. After this you are to select the stream of study that you undertook for your 12th standard. So if suppose I am from the science stream, I will be clicking the option that says science. After I have entered all the details, you can click on the link that says save and next in order to go to the next step which will be your document upload. Here you will first be asked to upload your recent passport size color photograph. Please note that the photograph that you upload should be of passport size and colored with a white background. The size of the image should be between 15 to 250 KB, JPG or JPEG and should be in the .jpg or JPEG format. In case your image is not the prescribed size or format, you can use various applications and websites available for this purpose. You can then proceed to upload your image. Next up, you need to upload your scanned signature. Please note that this signature too should be clear and without overwriting on a white paper sheet within a box of 6 into 3 cm width by height and the specifications of the image with respect to the file size and format remain the same as the color photo you just uploaded. Once you have successfully uploaded both your passport size photograph and your signature, you will be shown your 
payment details. Here, the application fees for the category under which I have applied, which is the unreserved category, is Rs. 3050. Please note that the application fee in case of SC, ST and PWD or persons with disabilities categories is Rs. 1050, whereas below poverty line or BPL applicants of the SC, ST category are exempted from fee payment. After this, you will have to check a checkbox that is the declaration by the candidate that all the information entered by you in this application form is correct and accurate to the best of your knowledge. After which, you will once again have to enter the text shown in the CAPTCHA. Once you have done this, you click the checkbox that says I agree and then click on the link that says submit. Finally, you will be redirected to the page containing the payment gateway using which you are to pay the application fees for the ALET exam. Please note once again that the application fees to be paid will be as applicable to your category of admission as I have stated in the previous step. These application fees can be paid using credit card, debit card, net banking, UPI or Bharat QR. The successful payment of the application fees will make sure that your application is successful and hence your registration and application for appearing in the ALET 2021 exam will be complete after this step once you have made the payment. Please note that the last date to submit the application form is the 20th of May 2021 at 11.55 pm. The admin cards for the exam will then be released on the 5th of June 2021 and the ALET 2021 exam itself will be conducted on the 20th of June 2021 from 10 am to 11.30 am. Please also take note of the fact that in case you have entered incorrect details or have uploaded a blurred photograph or scanned signature in your submitted application form, do not panic or worry. The university will be allowing corrections to be made to the application form in a 3-day window starting May 24, 2021 at 8 am to May 26, 2021 at 11.55 pm. Between this time, you will be allowed to make any corrections to your application form as you may require and hence in case you have made any errors in filling them, do not worry. For any further queries, please feel free to reach out to us on the following. Our contact number is as provided which is available between 10 am and 5 pm on working days and our email id is aletadmissions at nludelhi.ac.in. You may also refer to our website nludelhi.ac.in for the frequently asked questions or the FAQ section regarding ALET 2021 and the application process for the same, where a number of your doubts will be answered. So thank you so much for watching this video and please stay tuned for further updates on the university website as well as those that will be communicated to you. Here's wishing you all the very best for the ALET 2021 exam.